Hello, today's Bible study comes from Mark chapter 13, verses 1 through 13, and this is a continuation, or this is the beginning of a sermon that Jesus had, and we'll do the continuation in the next Bible study. As Jesus was leaving the temple, one of the disciples said to him, Look, teacher, what massive stones, what magnificent buildings. Do you see all these great buildings? Replied Jesus, Not one stone here will be left on another. Every one will be thrown down. As Jesus was sitting on the Mount of Olives opposite of the temple, Peter, James, John, and Andrew asked him privately, Tell us, when will these things happen? And what will be the sign that they are all about to be fulfilled? Jesus said to them, Watch out that no one deceives you. Many will come in my name, claiming I am he, and will deceive many. When you hear of wars and rumors of wars, do not be alarmed. Such things must happen, but the end is still to come. Nations will rise against nation and kingdom against kingdom. There will be earthquakes in various places and famines. These are the beginning of birth pains. You must be on your guard. You will be handed over to the local councils and flogged in the synagogues. On account of me, you will stand before governors and kings as witnesses to them. And the gospel must be preached to all nations. Whenever you are arrested and brought to trial, do not worry beforehand about what to say. Just say whatever is given to you at the time. For it is not you speaking, but the Holy Spirit. Brother will betray brother to death, and father his child. Children will rebel against their parents and have them put to death. Everyone will hate you because of me. But the one who stands firm to the end will be saved. Amen. Now, <clears throat> Jesus is doing one of his last sermons here, and he's only talking to a few people. And if you notice it, it tells you later on, it's Peter, James, John, and Andrew. And they are marveling at this building. They hadn't seen a building like this. You know, they were looking at it, and they were thinking about, wow, look at how this building is. They were somewhat idolizing the look. And they had been looked upon, you know, they had looked upon it so much that they started just saying how great the building was. And they even mentioned they hadn't seen anything like this. So they didn't want to leave the place. You know, it was, it was nice. It was beautiful. It was something they had never seen. But Christ wasn't into these ex external things, these things man made. And if you watch it, watch how Jesus puts this twist on it. The te they said, look, teacher, what massive stones, what magnificent buildings. And then they say, do you see all the great buildings, replied Jesus? Because Jesus says, that's what you're looking at? Is that what you're really paying attention to? And then he, he corrects them. He says, not one stone here will be left on another. Everyone will be thrown down. Jesus is talking about the destruction of this man-made thing that you are idolizing, that you are looking at. As Jesus was sitting on the Mount of Olives opposite the temple, Peter, James, John, and Andrew, that's who he was talking to. They asked him privately, tell us, when will these things happen? Uh-oh. They're inquiring, when will it happen? And what will be the sign that they are all about to be fulfilled? Well, Jesus is nice enough to answer him. He said to them, watch out that no one deceives you. There's going to be some false prophets. You're going to see some great things. You're going to see some beautiful things. You might even see some things that you say that couldn't be happening unless it was Christ. But he says, watch out that no one deceives you because they're going to come. And then he says it in verse 6. Many will come in my name, claiming I am he and will deceive many. If you don't believe me, watch TV when they tell you that the Lord is sitting at the foot of my bed. And he told me to tell you to plant a faith seed of $1,000. And the Lord said that he will make you prosper financially if you just remember to plant that faith seed. Because God needs $1,000. Have you ever heard that? Oh, send 89.99 and I will teach you how to speak in tongue. 
because I am the Holy Spirit, which they don't say that part, but they say they'll teach you how to do it, which obviously they can't. Or I have the blood cloth of Jesus Christ that will heal you. Well, don't be deceived. The, the word tells you about your faith and what it does for you. It does for you what no man can do for you because even if you are not healed, you still have salvation. And that's more than anything you need. God has done more for us than we can ask for. So even if it doesn't go your way, and if you have faith, you know it is not always supposed to go your way. Stand strong. And he gonna, Jesus is going to say this a little later, but he tells him, so these people are going to come. They're going to show up. And they're going to say they're here because of me. Well, if you know my word, you'll know that they ain't me. You'll know that my word is true. And I tell you exactly what I need you to do. And I am beneficial to you. In verse 7 it says, when you hear wars and rumors of wars, do not be alarmed. One man been warned forever, but he said, don't be alarmed anyway. These things must happen, but the end is still to come. So these wars don't end it. Don't be fooled. Nations will rise against nation and kingdom against kingdom. Because we greedy. We can't get along. We don't like each other. You got something that I won't. I'm going to covet you. I don't like you because of your skin color. Whatever. It may be. Man is that beast. There will be earthquakes in various places. You will. There will be earthquakes. And famines. There will be famines. These are the beginning of birth pains. Woo! Now, Jesus tells them, this is just the beginning. These are the pains of birth, birth pains. Just like when a woman goes through labor, she has birth pains. They are just starting. You ain't even got to the delivery of the situation yet. You ain't really felt the pain. You ain't really got into that push yet. You are just getting the beginning. You, you ain't even really broke a sweat yet. You just... And I mean, you just are getting to the beginning. So, you may escape war. You may escape some of these things, but these are the beginning of birth pains. And then he, he gives us another warning. You must be on your guard. If you look, he gave us two warnings so far. Jesus said to them, watch out that no one deceives you. First warning. Second warning, verse 9, you must be on your guard. Not you should be, but you must be on your guard. You'll be handed over to the local councils and flogged in the synagogues. Well, that was already happening. And it was going to happen. Who do you think flogged Christ? On account of me, you will stand before governors and kings as witnesses to them. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, I got to stand in front of them and, and say that you are king. I got a witness to them. Ask, ask Peter and John when they thought they were country bumpkins and the Holy Spirit took over and showed them fools the education of the Lord. And then in verse 9, he says, you must stand before witnesses you must stand before governors and kings and witnesses to them. But then he says something else in verse 10. And the gospel must first be preached to all nations. So before any of this destruction can come, you got to preach to all nations. Whenever you are arrested and brought to trial, do not worry beforehand about what to say. If you get arrested and you brought in trial, don't worry about what to say. I got you. Just say what is given to you at that time. And you know how I'm going to make sure you know what to say at that time? Because for it is not you speaking, but the Holy Spirit. So I got gotcha. you. Just say what the Holy Spirit is telling you to say. Brother will betray brother to death. 
We got brothers that'll betray brother for a woman, and women that'll betray sister for a man. And father his child, we already got that too. Children will rebel against their parents, been there, and have them put to death. Woo, they gonna kill them. Everyone will hate you because of me. Everyone will hate you because you are witnessing for me, the one true God. You are standing strong in the foundation of your faith, and you are witnessing to the world that Jesus Christ is king, and that he came and died for our sins, that you might have eternal life. John 3.16. Remember it. Remember it. But the one who stands firm to the end, if you persevere, if you don't fall, if you stay strong in your faith and believe, if you stand firm to the end, you will be saved. Amen.